Morning, morning, y'all. Kane532. Now, I have been contemplating how I wanted to work this video for a hot minute, and I think I've managed to break it down into exactly, precisely what I need to do. This fairly brief tutorial is going to be going over how to take your modified Nintendo 3DS running custom firmware, in this case, Luma, and how to use some sort of interactive disassembler. I'm gonna be using Ida in this example, and how to actually debug and start creating your own cheat functions and start reverse engineering games on the 3DS. This is um, by no means gonna be like an advanced course on anything. It's just gonna be the bare basics and just essentially how to get started on it. I'm still learning how to read through and encode things in ARM assembly, but, I'll show you the stuff that I've learned how to do and we can just keep moving forward from there. If this is something that you all enjoy, if you like the content that I've built, then uh, let me know in the comments and uh, maybe we'll make a series out of this. Anyway, we are gonna move forward and I'm going to uh, show you exactly what you need to get this started. Obviously, the first thing that we wanna get set up is gonna be to have our Nintendo 3DS console. This is a new 3DS console. Um, you can tell it's a lot bigger and you can also see on the back side of it. Now, this has been modified and it does already have all the files that we need on it. What this is not going to be going over is how to actually soft mod this console. That's a different, that's a completely different topic for a different day. All right. So first thing we want to do is we want to verify that we have the correct uh, firmware on here. So I'm going to try holding the select button and then pressing the power button. This is what I'm looking for. So right up here we can see I am running, if my camera will focus, Luma 3DS version 12.01. I have all of the basic features. So I am going to hit start and I'm going to get booted right into the actual uh, 3DS. I am on the latest firmware, just to let y'all know that this does work on the latest firmware. So as you can see, 11.160-49U, so I'm on the latest firmware. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are going to load into the game that we want to play. In this case, of course, I have to be running Zelda Majora's Mask. Now, what I would highly recommend you do, you could very well run it from this screen here, but you're not going to get very far, so you want to get into the actual game. So we're going to hit here, we're going to load into our save. Now, once we're running around in the game, give it a couple seconds just to make sure that everything loads. Okay, so now the keyboard short or the uh, the hotkey shortcut, excuse me, to open up uh, Rosalina or Luma is going to be hold down left bumper, down on the D-pad, and then we're going to press select. When you do that, it's going to open up this screen here. The only options that I want you all to focus on are going to be debugger options we are going to enable the debugger by pressing the a button as soon as that's done we're going to press the b button to go back twice go up to process list click on that and you'll see a whole bunch of stuff what i want you to do from very top zero we are going to press up and you're going to look for joker so you're going to click that you're going to push that and you're going to see that we now have a little W next to Joker and it's port 4000. Take note of your IP address up on the top there. 192.168.0.125 is mine. So once you have those things taken care of, we're going to go back and back again, get yourself into the game, and from here we can leave it alone. Once you have all that squared away, we are going to zip on over to the desktop and we're going to start actually working on things. So as I stated, we are going to be on IDA. You're not going to be loading any files unless you happen to have a PDB for any of these 3DS games, in which case pass it over to me because I would love to see it. We're going to go up to Debugger, select Attach, go down to Remote GDB Debugger. Now once you're in here, we need to adjust a few settings. 
your host name needs to be the IP address. And if you recall, on, your, on my 3DS, it said 192.168.0.125. I already got that set. Also adjust the port number. Now the port number was that little number that popped up on the screen. Um, once we selected Joker, the process ID, and then it said W inside the little parentheses, and then off to the side says port. Very, very important. Do not get that wrong. We need to go to debug options. And from here, you can leave all of these settings the same. We need to go to set specific options. Your max packet size, I've been playing around with this. It doesn't really matter a whole, whole lot. Um, just set it to 1024 or something like that and see if it does anything. From here, we need to go down to configuration. Very important on this one. Select it and you're going to select arm little endian as soon as that's done we can hit ok and then we can hit ok again and now we have this right here you can save your settings but for whatever reason at least in the version of ida that i have i have to set these every single time click ok it's going to take a moment and then you're going to see this window pop up. It says ID zero only because we already selected the process in the 3DS. So it's fine. You can either hit OK or you can double click. One thing to note, and this typically freaks out a lot of people, while you have everything here open, you'll notice that if I switch over to that camera, your 3DS is now unresponsive. You can tell it's unresponsive because I mean, it's it's Majora's Mask and right now nothing is working. Like, oh God, my, my 3DS just froze. Oh no, I bricked it. Oh no, you didn't. So this is how IDA functions. Basically, as soon as you connect to this console, it creates a snapshot of that memory chunk so everything that you see right here is a memory snapshot of what you have in the game okay if you want to unfreeze your game you're gonna go up to this little pl uh, play sign right there or you can use a keyboard shortcut, which is the F9 key. I got this little run window right here. It says running, meaning the game is running. If you want to freeze the game and start looking through memory and doing all that sort of stuff, you press the suspend button. This is a very important window. Ida is already trying to suspend the process. Do you want to stop it? Press no. That's going to, again, freeze the console into its snapshot form. If you press yes, then it's going to terminate the entire process and it's going to freeze your Nintendo 3DS completely. And then you'll have to restart it. And then you have to hold down the power button for like 15 to 20 seconds and it is an absolute pain in the butt. That's, it is what it is at that point in time. Now, a lot of different ways that you can start doing things with this. Uh, I'm going to show you how I set up my kind of interface here. I'm going to click over into the modules tab. I'm going to go to debugger, breakpoints, and breakpoint list. That's going to snap all of my breakpoints into this little module right there. Threads, I haven't really found a use for it with a 3DS going over remote art or GDB debugging, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, over here to stack view, what I like to do, click into stack view. I'll go to view, open sub views, and I'm going to put another hex dump in here. So this hex dump, I am going to set the data format to be four byte integers. And I'm going to set the columns to be, we'll just say eight, go away. Actually, I think with this game, it's going to be best to use four or just one. Play with this until you're happy with it. Uh, over here to the other hex view over here, what I like to do is I'm going to right click and I will synchronize this window with the IDA view here. So now every time I go into something up here, it's going to go 
to that point and they're going to be matched so that way i have my um i can see the actual disassembly up on the top and then i can see what the the bytes are and the offset is and all that stuff in the bottom additionally and again these are all just the settings that i prefer i'm going to go up to options general and i'm going to check this box right here that says auto comments and then I'm going to click as it disassembles. It's going to tell you, hey, this is a rough idea what this function in opcode does. So if you want to kind of cheese it a little bit and give yourself a head start, pull one of these cheat files, like these plugin cheats. So we will go with all items. This right here is going to be your offset or your address. And these are going to be the bytes that are written at that address. So what we can do is we can take this address here. I'm going to copy it, go here, down to our memory view. What we are going to do is I'm going to press G and then I'm going to paste that address in and hit OK. This is where it's going to take a little bit of learning and uh, trying and just hunting really because this is where all of our items are at and you can see we got zero and then we got one two three four and so forth and so on so what i can do if i look at this i'm just going to say i'll pick this one right here i'm going to press the f2 key so that i can go into edit mode and just zero that out and then i'm going to hit f2 to commit that and then f9 to launch the game so then I'm going to go here, I'm going to go into my items, and wow, that didn't really tell me much. But get, a, uh, get an idea of what this looks like. Okay, got that? So then we're going to do this, we are going to suspend. I'm going to go back to that, I'm going to rewrite it. So now, if we can see, I am going to go back and then back. And we'll see what's different. Can y'all see what's, what's different? What item did we gain from that? So that's more or less the basics of it. Uh, what we can do, I'm going to go back, suspend. Now let's do something a little bit more unique, we'll say. Let's find health. Okay. So there my heart's right up there on the top. I'm still running right now. What I'm gonna do, off screen, I'm gonna pause the game. I'm gonna write that same address, but I'm gonna set it to one four. F2, commit, and then play. And then you can see my health has drastically dropped. Let's pause it. And we are gonna set our first breakpoint. This is your max hearts, this is your current hearts. These are gonna be, it's a short, which is gonna be two bytes in length. So A000, A000. This is the address that I want to set a breakpoint on. So my address is gonna be down here. But the nice thing is, as soon as you have it selected, you go up into to your breakpoints, right click, we're going to insert. Your address is already up there. This is going to be what's called a hardware breakpoint. So make sure that this is checked. We're going to say, I want this to break when something is writing to that address, which is just a fancy way of saying, hey, as soon as the game is manipulating that value in some reasonable fashion, I want to see what the game is doing. So we're going to press OK. And then we are going to play by pressing F9. Okay, so now we can just start playing the game as usual. Now, as soon as I do that, you notice game is frozen. I just got hurt. Over here on the computer side, hey, hardware breakpoint at the address that we set has been triggered. So I'm gonna press okay. And it's going to immediately bring us to some code. Now this isn't all of the code. So what I want to do is I wanna find the top of this function here. So we're gonna to go to general registers, find our link register, which is LR. So this is gonna be where this function got called. It should make sense here in just a moment. So I'm gonna right click, I'm going to copy that, 
go into the IDA view, press G, paste the address, and go back. Now, you can't really see much from this right now, so what we're going to do, we're going to go up four, so one, two, three, four, we're going to press P, and that's going to instantly snap everything into the uh, into a program view. So now we have a function that's been defined up here. We can see the tab right there says LR for link register. And this right here is the top of the function that is handling or manipulating health. So I'm going to right click, copy, and I'm going to go to that function. And then from here again, I'm going to press P and that's going to make it look like an actual function that we can actually manipulate and work with. Down here where it's highlighted, that's where the game actually broke. So that's what's important. Hi there, it's Kane from the future. Um, so, past me up here, this knucklehead, um, I was about to make a really stupid mistake. Um, bear with him, he was tired. Okay, this is where, when we set the breakpoint, this is where it traced back to. What we can do instead, instead of adjusting this, we'll adjust this. So let's do, we'll just copy this, paste, and we will change this to R1. So BC13C0E1, BC13, now it's going to store that into R1. So let's see what happens there. Okay, so now it looks like it is doing what we want it to do. Yay. Let's go ahead and double check that. We're going to pause the game. I'm going to set my health to zero, 01 and then we are going to test it again. So now we can see my health is 1. So I'm one hit away from death. What happens when I get hit? It bounces all the way up to max. This is our original health function. Original health code we are storing r2 into r0 plus 0x3c what we wanted to do is we wanted to store into r1 so we change just one number so it's still bc it's a 13 c0 e one modified health opcode, which is now strhr1 into r0 plus 3c. So if we were to put this into our cheat plugin, all you would need to do is address. hex and we can take that copy that put it into the actual plugin and you are off to the races i hope that helped uh there's so much more that we could delve into with this topic and a lot of different fun things that we can do i'm still learning arm code assembly and the limitations and the other things that we can do with it i hope this helped and as always, happy modding. Later, y'all.